In this video, I'll show you why to expect around half of the advertised capacity of your power bank. This Home Bargains power bank is sold as 10 ampere hour, and to most people this indicates that it can supply one amp for 10 hours, but when I used it, it didn't even last half that time. To test the power bank, I charged it fully overnight, then connected it to my battery capacity tester and set the discharge current to one amp. And after a few hours, the voltage dropped to the preset discharge level and the test stopped. The final figure for ampere hours was 4.516. And this is a lot less than the expected 10 ampere hour. The difference is because we're not comparing the milliampere hours at the same voltage. The 10 ampere hour refers to the 3.5 volt cell inside the power bank, whereas the 4.5 ampere hour we measured refers to the 5 volt output. If we now take the voltages into account, we can compare the energy in watt hours. Energy is voltage times ampere hours. The maximum energy that can be stored in the cell is 35 watt hours. So with a perfect conversion from 3.5 volts to 5 volts, we would only measure 7 ampere hours. But in practice, we don't achieve 100% efficiency from the built-in boost converter. My test indicated just over 4.5 ampere hours. And from this figure we can calculate the efficiency of the overall conversion as around 65%. Now that we've worked out what's happening, let's summarise our findings. A perfect conversion to 5 volts reduces the ampere hours by 30%. On top of that, the boost voltage converter and other losses reduce the ampere hours to around 45% of that advertised. So it seems quite reasonable to expect only half of the advertised capacity in milliampere hours. Now I know my tests are a bit basic and there are other factors to consider. For example, I noticed the power bank gave out less than five volts and the cutoff voltage may not have been set properly for this exact test. And I suppose I could do more exacting tests, but this video was designed to let you know that you won't get the advertised milliampere hours if the battery voltage is lower than the output voltage. I hope this video helps you understand what to expect from these devices. And the good news is, I bought a genuine power pack. But remember, there are a lot of fakes out there, so buyer beware.